They have attendees with the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SI, and SDI. President Biden will be sending out stimulus checks sooner than we think. Now, Social Security recipients are facing new financial risk, and you may soon end up receiving smaller monthly benefit checks. Many are suggesting that Social Security's for retirement age be raised by a couple of years. It could happen if the president does not step in and take action soon. So, for the majority of Social Security's nearly 50 million retired workers, the monthly pay that they receive is vital to their financial well-being. According to the annual surveys conducted by some national posters, 90% of retirees lean on their monthly Social Security benefit in some capacity to cover their expenses. But retired workers' benefits aren't handed out for simply being a citizen. These benefits are earned over time via work requirements, and what you receive from the program can vary greatly. But more than half a dozen factors can affect what you receive on a take-home basis from Social Security, but when boiled down, four elements loom largest when determining what you'll be paid for. Because if you really want to maximize what you receive from Social Security during retirement, working at least 35 years is important. The third important component is your birth year. The birth year is determining when you can retirement and get your full retirement age. For, per, for people born in 1960 or after everybody, it will greatly influence your retirement age. What greatly influences how big a Social Security check is, is whether you're claiming your age. For retired workers, payouts can begin at age 62 or any point thereafter. The important thing to understand about claiming age is that the Social Security Administration provides an incentive for beneficiaries to be patient. Depending on your birth year, claiming as early as possible could permanently reduce your benefits by up to 30%. Meanwhile, waiting until age 70 can increase your payout by 24 to 32%, above what you would have received at full retirement age. And as of roughly five years ago, nearly three-fifths of all eligible beneficiaries were claiming benefits from 62 to 65 years old. It means that 3 out of 5 beneficiaries are going to see a reduction in the monthly payout in order to get their hands on the money sooner than later. But based on a study from the United Income Survey, most Americans haven't made a smart decision. Because only 6.5% of people who began taking Social Security age 62 or 63 made the best choice. On the other hand, the best claiming age is what have resulted from retirees being patient. Now there is no perfect formula when it comes to determining the ideal claiming age. The best we can do is examine our personal and financial health as well as to take into account the financial needs of our loved ones and make an educated claiming decision based on information. Social Security's combined trust funds for retirees, surveyors, and even survivors Americans with disabilities are currently estimated to run out by 2034. Without congressional action, the program's income would only be payable to 80% of scheduled benefits. And in its proposed 2024 budget, Biden included a plan to shore up Medicare's finances through at least 2050 by increasing taxes on the wealthy Americans and bringing down prescription costs. Since the beginning of the year, because, Michael, as you well know, we had a massive re-rating last year. So we had multiples that were well above their average bands going into the end of 21, and we took all of that out. Uh, through uh, through June. And then we went into estimates risks, estimates cuts. And I've had three quarters in a row where about 70 percent of the companies that I cover, I'm talking about the, the December, March and June quarters, have had negative e uh, estimates revisions and relatively material ones. I haven't seen that level of negative revision. According to Chuck Schumer, the new compromise bill includes $430 billion in new spending on energy, electric vehicle credits and health insurance investments. It more than pays for itself by raising minimum taxes for big companies and enforcing existing tax laws. Today, Biden said during a speech that the deal would, for the first time in a long time, restore fairness to the tax code and begin to restore fairness by making the largest corporations in America pay their fair share without any new taxes on people making under 40 hundred, making under 400 grand a year. The bill would also impose a 15% minimum tax on corporations with profits over a billion dollars, raising 313 billion dollars over a decade. Companies could claim net operating losses and tax credits against the U against the 15%. The U.S. corporate tax rate dropped 21% from 35% after a 2017 tax cut, but many companies pay much less than that, and some of the largest pay no federal taxes. There is a new stimulus update for beneficiaries of Social Security SI and SSDI. $300 and is currently available for eligible beneficiaries to claim. Biden has a big announcement in regard to the economy, and here is the latest for stimulus news. Stimulus checks and relief payments are beginning to go out, so to several states across the in several states across the country. Stimulus checks and relief payments are beginning to go out to everybody, and several states have announced new initiatives to deliver payments by certain groups. 
States providing relief include California, Florida, and Virginia, among others. And Social Security recipients and low-income households teamed up last week to introduce legislation to strengthen Social Security. The Protecting and, Perceive, the Protecting and Preserving Social Security Act aims to extend the program's ability to pay benefits. The SSA projects the program's combined funds will run out in 2035, at which point 80% of benefits will be payable. Democrats' proposal would extend that by bringing the depletion date to 2052, according to an analysis of the plan by the SSA. By the end of the projected 75-year period, it will reduce the federal deficit by about $12 trillion. The center said, Every day I hear stories from seniors in my district about the importance of Social Security checks to the quality of life and the day-to-day -day survival. This bill will not only continue to help these life-saving benefits, but strengthen them for decades to come. Which is 13 years until Social Security's funds are projected to run out. Other Democrats have also put forward plans to extend that timeline, while also making benefits more generous. The missions. Prescription drug price reform, where Medicare will now be able to negotiate the price of certain drugs. An extension of Obamacare subsidies, money for IRS tax enforcement, and a tweaked corporate minimum tax, plus a 1% tax on stock buybacks, although its final form is still uncertain. Senator Sinema asked for changes uh, as to how the package was structured. There's also money to address drought in Arizona and other western states, another of Sinema's conditions for support. So what happens now? With a razor-thin majority in the Senate, the Democrats need all 50 of their members to vote yay, not 60, since this is a so-called reconciliation bill and not subject to the 60-vote threshold to avoid a filibuster. But since this is Congress, it's far from a done deal. NBC's Julie Serkin live on Capitol Hill with what happens next on both sides of the aisle. It's going to be a busy weekend, eh, Julie? Yeah, Tyler, that's exactly right. You're smart to point out that once, uh, until it's over, it's never really over in the halls of Congress. But the important thing that you said there is that this bill needs 50 votes to pass, and that's exactly what Majority Leader Schumer told reporters today he believes they're going to have. With Senator Sinema signing on, after those changes, they now move on to the first vote, which is set to take place tomorrow at some point in the afternoon. That'll kick off the process, but that's just the beginning because they have 20 hours of equally divided uh, debate between Republicans and Democrats. Republicans planning on making this as painful as possible for Democrats, bringing up amendment vote after amendment vote. That's according to Senator Lindsey. Reports. The Joint Tax Committee is a bipartisan committee and reports on a bipartisan basis to questions asked by either party. We asked the Joint Tax Committee to give us these kinds of analyses and on their bipartisan basis they did so. The first report that they handed out was one which we asked about where does the impact of these taxes fall. The administration has been very careful to say that, uh, you know, we aren't raising the tax rates of anybody under $400,000, but everybody in America knows that when taxes are charged, some people end up carrying the burden of those taxes. This tells us 